Hi everyone, welcome to Science Tuesdays. And today we're gonna to do something super cool. Stay tuned. All right, everyone. So for this project, we're actually going to be making an under the sea bottle, okay? I already made one here previously. I used a mason jar, but I've learned from my mistakes and we're gonna make a brand new one. I used way too much food coloring, okay? So for this project, you need a water bottle an emptied water bottle. This is a one liter bottle, um, preferably if you can find like those Voss water bottles or a water bottle that doesn't have too many ridges and has a big mouth opening so you can definitely throw in some decorations. You need some water. So since this is a liter bottle, I'm going to be using two and a half cups of water. You need some baby oil. You need some glitter some food coloring, and since this is the ocean, I'm going to use blue food coloring. But if you'd like to maybe make some under the sea um, scenario with hot pink, you can go ahead. Um, we, I found some little marbles, some under the sea foam. This is a seahorse. I found some sequins, and I have some sand. This is all optional. You don't have to add in all these things. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the water bottle, gonna open it this is a liter bottle and you're gonna want to fill it a little bit more than halfway half of a liter is two cups so I'm gonna be using two and a half cups of water so I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna pour it let's see a little bit more whoops yep there you go and now I'm going to add only one drop of food coloring. You can add however many drops you want, but the more food coloring drops you add, the darker it's gonna be, and you're not gonna really see too much, which is a mistake I made with my first one. I added like three drops of blue food coloring and like three of green food coloring, and now you can't really see inside. So I'm gonna open it, my hands are a little I'm just going to put one drop, and that's it. Right. And then I'm going to add some of the decorations. I'm not going to add sand this time around, but if you want to add sand, go for it. I'm just going to add maybe some glitter. I'm using silver glitter. Gonna add a few sequins. Whoops, they fell. Gonna add a few sequins just to make it nice and pretty. And I'm gonna add some foam animals. Maybe a seahorse, a whale. Not too many because I saw that um, on this one. You can't even see them because they're all on the top. And then when I'm done adding whatever I wanna add, I'm going to fill the rest of the bottle all the way up to the brim with baby oil, okay? So I have some baby oil here, which I'm definitely gonna make a mess. Um, it's recommended that you tilt the water bottle sideways. It just has a better effect. And then just start adding slowly, 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 slowly. There you go. Now I'm gonna add the other baby oil I have. And like I said, these are all things that I bought at the dollar store. And you can find a lot of stuff there for your arts and crafts or science experiments. And I'm gonna just keep on adding. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to get another baby oil. All right, and we're back. I had to get another baby oil because we wanna make sure that you fill it all the way to the brim. And these baby oils weren't enough. They were 6.5 ounces each. So now I'm gonna add this one. I'm just gonna add it all the way, all the way, all the way to the top right there. Whoops. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this. So hopefully I don't make a mess. If you have glue, I don't have any glue, but if you have glue, you can glue it. You can put some glue right around here, like some, I don't know, like some special type of glue, not regular 
Elmer's glue so that the lid doesn't pop off and your child can play with this as much as they want without making a mess of baby oil and water all over the place. Squeeze it tight, squeeze it tight. And then all you have to do is just move it to the side and you can see slowly. If you move it to the side, you can see the waves rolling. Isn't that cool? And you can definitely add more things to it. You can do it slowly and just watch how the waves roll like side to side. Let's see if I go this way. You can kind of see the waves rolling right there. It looks pretty cool. If you have little fishies, I was trying to find little colorful fishies, but I couldn't find any. I didn't add the sand, but go for it. You can definitely add the sand for a more like under the sea view. And I didn't add the marbles, but hey, these are all things that you can find at the dollar store and you can definitely add it to your under the sea bottle. Look how cool that is. And there's like the seahorses. I'm going a little too fast. You got to go slow. All right. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you enjoy.